Uh, greetings, everyone. We got ourselves an iPad 6. And it's got the big 128 hard drive, gigabytes. And we got a broken screen, right? So, a digitizer. So, often people call it a screen. It's a digitizer. And then there's an LCD screen below it. That's the screen. So, this, uh, it works. So, I just want to check it before we start, right? And uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, just go ahead and uh, kind of like look at the uh, inspect the damage. So, we have a, uh, a drop in the top left corner. And uh, that uh, is going to be the issue. We need to push the uh, screen back out. And to do that, we're going to use a file. I mean, not a file, but a punch later on, just to follow the contour. So the first thing we want to do is uh, take uh, some packing tape to help uh, keep this from shattering. You need to use safety glasses. I can't stress this enough. Safety glasses, okay? Because there's lots of little tiny particulates, and uh, they're gonna go flying out when you uh, as you try to take this screen apart. So. We're going to put some tape on here just to try to help keep the, uh, I don't know if I should put the tape on before or after I heat it up, but it doesn't matter. We can always, so we can always do it later. All right, so let's put some packing tape on here. Give us a bit of a fighting chance. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put it on the heating pad because we need to uh, loosen up the glue all the way around. But before we do that, let's turn this thing off. So it's going to hold down the button in the top right hand corner. Slide that off. Turn on your heating pad. Now you can use a blow dryer or, well, heat, heat gun. I'm not going to do that because I would like to have a nice even heat and I do plan to repair more things in the future okay there we go all right so I have mine set at 26 I'm sorry let's we want to put this uh, what do we want mode hit mode M okay it's at 70 degrees Celsius and timer we're gonna set this to uh, seven minutes So we transfer the iPad. Nice warm screen. I use this tool. And we're gonna to start from the top. Now this side, the right side, I'm sorry, start from right around here to here, have lots of cables. And if you want to try to protect your cables, you're gonna you're going to probably want to uh, just start from the top and work your way to the left. You can see how the uh, tape has really helped with uh, just holding the uh, glass together. Be careful, don't go too deep also because uh, there are you know, some sensitive components. When you first do this, just kind of be shallow about it. And then uh, the more you do it, you just kind of get a better feel for how deep you can go, you know. So. Remember, don't forget your safety glasses. Please. I have two of them. I have one on right now. And uh, I always want to encourage safety because the uh, there's a lot of little tiny pieces of glass that go flying 
when you do this repair. So you just don't want to end up in the ER. You know, it's kind of stupid. So what did I say? Don't forget your safety glasses. All right. There's two things I want to put a lot of stress on with this repair. Your safety glasses and also disconnecting the power battery. You want to isolate the battery. Uh, the isolation is important to protect your L like your, L your LCD components. This is a filter. It's a chip on the actual motherboard. And uh, that thing is very vulnerable to uh, changes in Oh, they have a protective screen on this. Uh, looky here. <laughs> They've tricked me. Bastards. Alright, um, so let's do this again. We're going to tape this up. <laughs> the protective screen that didn't protect. It can only protect so much, you know. I mean, if you have if you have a damaged screen that like just kind of collides with the ground, there's not much you're going to do. That's a in engineering, it's called a non-elastic collision. Let's try this again. So I'll try this again. Again, I'm going to start from the top and work our way to the left if you're looking at the advice. The, the, the. Okay, so right here, right, you're going to be very sensitive with the screen because if you want to save this home button, so why why would you want to save the home button, right? The home button is very it's 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 serialized to the motherboard, so you don't want to go too deep. When I say serialized, that means it cannot be you can't just put another home button on there and maintain the um, <coughs> touch um, ID. You know, it scans your fingerprint, and uh, unless you're able to, and I don't know at this current moment, I'm sure it's possible, because everything is possible, that you can find some way to hack the firmware on this device that allows you to modify the, uh, the ability to switch out the uh, serialized hardware. You know, I just don't know what that looks like. And uh, at this point, it's you can probably just fold the iPad over. I'm really, really shallow right here because there are wires that attach the digitizer to the motherboard. Now you don't really have to be so concerned about much. I'm just kind of like loosening it up, you know. So, all right, I'm not gonna go too far because. Those buttons are up there. I should have really kind of flip it open now, I think. Glue is pretty intense. So 
a little harder than usual to take off. So I'll try this again. Okay. So again, I'm going to start from the top and work our way to the left if you're looking at the device. The, the device. Looks like we're working ourselves to the right, but I really meant to the left. We don't go too deep because the LCD screen is right here. Okay, so right here, right, you're going to be very sensitive with the screen because if you want to save this home button, so why, why would you want to save the home button, right? The home button is very, it's, it's, it's serialized to the motherboard, so you don't want to go too deep. 
When I say serialized, that means it cannot be, you can't just put another home button on there and maintain the um, <coughs> touch um, ID. You know, it scans your fingerprint. And uh, unless you're able to, and I don't know at this current moment, I'm sure it's possible, because everything is possible, that you can find some way to hack the firmware on this device that allows you to modify the uh, the ability to switch out the uh, serialized hardware. You know, I just don't know what that looks like. And uh, at this point, it's you can probably just fold the iPad over. I'm really, really shallow right here because there are wires that attach the digitizer to the motherboard. Now you don't really have to be so concerned about much. I'm just kind of like loosening it up, you know. So, all right, I'm not gonna go too far because the, those buttons are up there. I should be able to kind of flip it open now, I think. Okay, remember, the LCD screen is underneath, so don't go don't go pushing anything like too far under, you know? That's not plastic anyway. And even that I would still be still be cautious of. Corner because of the uh, the condition of the uh, of the brake, its focus is right here. So Careful. That screen is it's trying to grab the camera and lift it right out. Yeah, so the camera's right there. So. it up too high because again the home button's right here if you're trying to save the home button. It's right along right here. So just be careful.
We're almost there. Do you want to protect this camera here a lot? So let's see what we can do to kind of yank this camera out of its position. I just want to get this glass off. Okay, good. And this sits. Fight me for a little. Let's see. So that goes like that. Okay. Now we have make sure protect the LCD screen because we don't want to get any uh, scratches on it. spend some time just going around the edges and cleaning up all of the uh, the, the leftover glass that's going to take a little bit of time so uh, 
I'll uh, bring you back when I'm, uh, it's all, make sure I should probably, let me finish off the screen removal so that way you can, uh, you can see what to do because there's something very important that I want to encourage you to, to do here. Okay, so This uh, glue is pretty intense. It's a little harder than usual to take off. Well, the camera went out unless they had the four gigabyte limit on the FAT32 hard drive. So we pull those two screws out and then we're going to get those two Phillips down here. This has a magnet at the bottom. That's that's what that's what I'm doing there. Okay, very important. This is the most important part. I can't stress this enough because you don't want to damage your device. Right. Okay, this right here is the power supply that connects the motherboard right here to the battery. You do not want to proceed any further without removing that. So it's a Phillips screw here. Right. And don't ask me how I know. Because it'll damage things. Okay, it's a much smaller Phillips, right? And now to to try to like minimize the likelihood of you ruining your friggin' device, you want to isolate the battery. So I do that just by raising up underneath like that. So I'm gonna raise up underneath this connector right here with this just to help keep that from shorting out
Okay. So at this point, you can again check this again. Make sure you're nice and up underneath there. Isolated the battery. Check it again. Don't stick anything metal underneath there either. There's a little. There you go. LCD screen's out of the way. Because you'll, you'll create a short. And keep that there. Now, we want to pop this off. So, be very gentle with every connector you have here. Okay, then we're going to. Uh, take off this uh, protective insulation. It's uh, an adhesive. I'm going to put it right here because we're going to reuse it. And then the battery here, right? This is really important. How do you get this connector off, right? I'll try to zoom in as much as I can. So to remove the um, cable to the home button, right? You want to just, it, it lifts upwards, right? So it's really, really small right here. Just lift up like that. Now it's up Now you can go ahead, take a visual. See, so let me put it back down. See where that white line is? Take a visual because you'll not know how far to push it in and you'll get confused. So that line helps. So we're there. And then we should be able to just... And also look at the cable in. See it's flat. So you know when you connect it, it's going to be flat because it folds over. Right? Let's just pull that out. And then you look at the cable, right? You see all the metal parts here at the bottom because they have to connect at the bottom. So just keep that in mind. And now the screen itself should be free to be removed. Just go ahead and get that off. I mean, not screen, let's call it what it is. It's a digitizer, okay? Now here's your home button. We did a really good job protecting this home button. You can see what I'm saying, the wires are, uh, sorry. Can you see that? There you go. So the wires on the home button run along the bottom. Now, you know, you could work a little bit and try to remove this, but I'm going to say that uh, I'm not going to do that this time around. I'm just going to, because the new, the new digitizer comes with a home button. So we'll use that one instead. But you, what I would recommend you do is just heat this up. So loosen the glue, and then you're going to need some crazy glue to kind of hold those pads down, this bracket that holds the uh, digitizer onto the, sorry, the home button onto the digitizer. So, all right, I'll leave it up to you to decide what you want to do with that. I, you know. At this point, I'm just going to do some cleanup work to the edges, and uh, it's going to entail some isopropyl. You want to get a 99% makes your life easier. The stuff at the uh, grocery store, drugstore, tends to be a little bit on the um, lower side of percentage. So what we want to do is just, ha, huh, reflexes like a cat. Um, let's just go around and remove all this extra stuff, you know? So we'll do, I'll do that for a while and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm done. So I got most of the hard stuff off and uh, now I'm going to uh,
So after cleaning this a bit, um, just kind of want to try to shake out any uh, pieces, right? And then we're going to, yeah, I already cleaned this all off with isopropyl, all the glue, but now what we want to do is uh, just kind of clean the work area. Alright, so we've got a little tiny shards of glass we need to kind of get off of there. Um, a bit of safety glasses. The next thing I want to do is take uh, some two millimeter uh, double-sided electronic tape and uh, we're going to use this tape to uh, uh, just kind of add a little extra uh, support to the screen to keep it from ever uh, peeling up easily. Uh, the uh, the glue that comes with the screen itself, I'm sorry, the new, the, the new digitizer is, uh, is prone to uh, lift up sometimes, so this just kind of helps add a little bit of extra support. Should have done that before we uh, added the tape, but it's okay. It'll be fine. that okay so we need to address this corner right here so we need to shape that so we can give our new digitizer a fighting chance All right, so yeah, it's been it's really took a hit I think you know so you just want to kind of work it a little bit so I said uh, we should have probably waited to put that on, so using this curved edge here to kind of push this out. That's a rough one. That's really, 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 really jammed up in there. Mm hmm. Alright, see, so what I'll be done. I'll be done this for a while. I'm just gonna push this back.
cool. All right, so we'll work on that for a while. I'll bring it back when it's. So what I'll do is uh, do a dry fit test. This is C. So so it'll, it'll fit there. It's gonna fight a little bit right here, so I can see where else I need to kind of push the uh, case in back some more. So to really get the shape back, you want to take the iPad and just kind of lean it up like that and jam this into the corner. And you want to work it like that. And that's going to give you a nice curve. So let's see how much better the digitizer fits. There you go. That's it. So we're good. So now we can put that on with confidence. It's going to sit quite nicely. All right. I'll give you a zoom, zoomed in shot. See how much we can see. Yeah. So that's it. That looks pretty good to me, and that should be. Yeah, that will be smooth. Okay, so the battery needs to go back. And um, we want to... Uh, actually, no, before we even put the battery back, let us um, let's give this a good cleaning. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, just isolate the battery again. Very, very important. You could do something like this, jam it underneath there, but I haven't been super successful in keeping that under. But it goes like that. Just trying it with you right now. Not too successful. All right. So we'll clean this first before we. Uh... Okay, looks good. Before we go ahead and do anything else, we want to test. So I'm going to put this on. I just want to test it, make sure that uh, it functions.
remember, isolate the battery. Please, 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 please isolate the battery. Okay. So, let's see if we can just do a quick little test. Over. I'm just going to turn it on and see if uh, it turns on. Okay, so we're moving in the right direction. Oh, I just want to see if uh, the buttons work. So. Perfect. Okay, that works. Let's see if the home button works. Alright. Unable to activate Touch ID. Let's see if the uh, home button works. Home button works. Okay, we're good. Let's just turn this off and uh, we'll all right. So we had to clean this again, both sides, just because we want to make sure we don't have any uh, grease marks, fingerprints on this. We should do that last. Let's uh, let's screw. Let us screw the. Uh, screw those down. So there's four all together. There's another one that's gonna go right there. We want it just gonna screw the Remember position this so that way you can kind of see straight up and down. That's why I kinda of turn it this way. Uh, because the um You need to see if the screw is going in perfectly vertical. Just found some glass, piece of glass. I'm trying to get rid of that. I'm going to peel off the double-sided tape now.
You know what? Did we uh, cover the battery? Hmm. I don't think we did, did we? Rats. Alright, I gotta take this off again. I gotta double check. Remember, position this so that way you can kind of see straight up and down. That's why I kind of turn it this way. Uh, because the... Um, you need to see if the screw is going in perfectly vertical. Found some glass, piece of glass. I'm trying to get rid of that. Peel off the double sided tape now. You know what? Did we uh, cover the battery? Hmm. I don't think we did, did we? Rats. I gotta take this off again. I gotta double check. It looks like this, some blue strips. Hey, be careful with the uh, when you blow air onto the um, any kind of air you're gonna blow because uh, you want you don't want to lose any screws, you know. Cables here. Get in tucked in. thinking.
It's so slow. Anyway, hey, check it out. That's my, uh, that's me. Listen, if you like this repair, right, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe. It really helps a lot. And uh, it was a lot of fun to do this job. And I hope that you were able to see some things that would help you make your life easier and keep your devices out of the e-waste trash. So um, go ahead and uh, subscribe, comment, like, and uh, let me know in the comments section what you think we could have done better. And I uh, hope that everybody uh, has a, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget, subscribe, Ocean Design Studio. All right, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.